The second orbital test launch of Starship was a success for SpaceX, despite ending in an explosion. The company achieved the main objective of testing a major design change from the first launch. Rocket enthusiasts around the world have been eagerly anticipating this moment for months, and it has also caught the attention of NASA, the leading agency in American aerospace. How did NASA respond to this milestone? Did they feel threatened by the fiery outcome of the test flight? Let's explore these questions questions, and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX's Starship Mega Rocket did an ace its second ever test flight on Saturday, November 18th, but it performed well enough to draw praise from some pretty important people. The leading space agency in the US, NASA, has the biggest stake and the most vital contracts in SpaceX's success. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson praised SpaceX warmly after the launch. Congrats to the team who made progress on today's flight test, he tweeted. Spaceflight is a bold adventure demanding a can-do spirit and daring innovation. Today's test is an opportunity to learn to fly again. The head of NASA praised SpaceX for its achievements and also expressed his astonishment. He had previously doubted the flight capabilities of Starship and feared that it might damage the vital launch pad again, as it did after the first Starship launch. But the results speak for themselves. SpaceX has shown remarkable progress that will facilitate future Starship launches. Some critics have argued that the second explosion of Starship was a setback for NASA, since the agency plans to use Starship to send astronauts to the moon in the near future. However, this is a narrow perspective that ignores Elon Musk's rocket development philosophy. For SpaceX and Musk himself, every failure is a valuable learning opportunity. As SpaceX stated, with a test like this, success comes from what we learn and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. NASA demands many successful missions before approving crewed flights. This matters for the Moon mission, which needs 20 Starship refuels in orbit. SpaceX must learn from past mistakes and do better. SpaceX's test launches often involve explosions and mishaps that make people wonder whether the test flight will fail. This launch hit its primary goals as the wild cheers from SpaceX staff in Hawthorne, California attested during this launch. For an experimental rocket launch to be considered a success, it must perform better than the preceding test. And during the first test flight, the rocket careened out of control after Starship failed to separate, and then it self-destructed in midair. In the second flight, SpaceX made a change to how this critical separation of the upper spacecraft occurs. The upper stage fired its engines seconds before the rocket's sections parted, a method called hot stage separation, and remarkably, it worked on its first real-world attempt. It was like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie. After this crucial part of the flight, everything started to fall apart. The booster exploded on its way down, and the upper stage was automatically destroyed due to a malfunction in the flight. Although the results were not as expected, there is progress, and it concludes as a successful performance compared to their past endeavors and successful in part for NASA's mission in cooperation with them. It's hard to believe that a human spaceflight program would rely on repeatedly blowing up rockets and spacecraft. It's also hard to imagine that state and federal regulators would allow it. But that's the story of SpaceX. That is why NASA officials are not too disappointed with SpaceX's results. They have seen huge progress in this company's operations. Jim Free, the Associate Administrator for the Exploration Systems Development, responded to Bill Nelson's congratulatory tweet. Each test represents a step closer to putting the first woman on the moon with the Artemis III Starship Human Landing System. Looking forward to seeing what can be learned from this test that moves us closer to the next milestone. Starship is an indispensable part of the Artemis Moon program, aiming to establish a lunar outpost within this decade. In the future, the space spacecraft will be sent into lunar orbit, where astronauts will embark on the first journey to the moon's surface in over 50 years. The cultural differences between traditional NASA engineering and SpaceX are on stark display at each test flight. Traditional development programs are designed to perfection before testing to validate. Meanwhile, the mantra 
at SpaceX is a lot different. Build, test, break, repeat. Among the flaming wreckage, Elon Musk's company has made more engineering progress than any other competitor or government-funded space program. SpaceX is designing vehicles that you can rapidly prototype, says Garrett Aaron Reisman, a professor at the University of Southern California and a former NASA astronaut and SpaceX employee. If serial number 10 blows up, you have serial number 11 waiting in the wings. Just keep moving and keep learning. When SpaceX began development of its Falcon 9, the company suffered four flight failures before the different rocket stages successfully separated without being destroyed. That rocket is now the most frequently launched in the world, the mainstay of NASA's crew and cargo missions to the International Space Station, as well as the industry leader of commercial satellite launches. The company is applying the same engineering methodology to the Starship project, only with much larger prototypes. A rapid iterative development approach has been the basis for all of SpaceX's major innovative advancements, SpaceX noted in a pre-flight statement. Furthermore, SpaceX's approach and speed have presented a tempting offer. By hiring SpaceX, NASA is positioned to reap the benefits of the privately held company's aggressive pace without shouldering the responsibility. NASA is so high profile when it comes to its reputation and who they're held accountable to, says Laura seward Forchick, founder of the space consulting company Astrolytical. They have Congress. SpaceX is not as accountable, only to its investors and its customers. Indeed, SpaceX is the top choice due to its track record, something other space companies do not have. SpaceX is no longer some out-of-nowhere, brash-talking, yet unproven company. They're NASA's most reliable and most successful contractor, notes Casey Dreyer, chief of space policy for the Planetary Society, an independent nonprofit organization that promotes space science and exploration. There are three institutions in the world that have the ability to independently launch people into space, Russia, China, and SpaceX. The U.S. government no longer has that ability. Geopolitical urgency has returned to spaceflight, and without SpaceX, NASA would still be renting rides for its astronauts from Russia, with love or not. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson also frames the Chinese lunar program as a rival to Artemis, and one that could reach the lunar surface first. NASA needs SpaceX to succeed to stay competitive in this space race. According to the current schedule, NASA's first Artemis moon landing is to occur in 2025. Delays are expected, including from NASA's Space Launch System, the rocket that will deliver the astronauts from Florida Florida to lunar orbit, where a Starship vehicle will await them for the touchdown on the moon. Such a prominent placement in NASA's moonshot program gives SpaceX influence in Washington, D.C. and beyond. With the second test out of the way, teams at SpaceX should now be looking towards the third test flight. SpaceX has outlined its commitment to continuous improvement. The company plans to meticulously analyze the data gathered from this test flight, identifying areas for enhancement in the next launch. Space SpaceX's agility and rapid development approach allow for iterative improvements, ensuring that each new prototype builds upon the lessons learned from the preceding one. The launch pad and the water deluge system were major reasons for the delay to the second test flight. On top of that, SpaceX had to make several upgrades to Starship, particularly the Raptor engine. Although the second integrated test flight did not achieve a flawless outcome, it serves as a testament to the inherent risks and complexities of SpaceX exploration. The transparency in SpaceX's testing process, even when faced with setbacks, contributes to a collective learning experience for the industry. Crucially, the potential for crewed missions remains on the horizon. Despite the challenges encountered, SpaceX's commitment to advancing the Starship program is a promising sign for the future. The company's vision includes crewed missions to the moon and beyond, with NASA already selecting Starship as the first crewed lander for its Artemis moon program. While uncertainties persist, the second integrated test flight marks a significant step forward in realizing the ambitious goals set by SpaceX and holds the promise of shaping the future for space exploration. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below about today's content because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time.